Let's get Google Tag Manager installed on your website, timestamps below, along with some other helpful links and resources to building out all of the other tags, events, pixels, and triggers and whatnot you want with Google Tag Manager. So let's jump over to Google Tag Manager. You can just go ahead and search Google Tag Manager. You'll get to a page that looks something like this, and then we can go ahead and click on Start for Free. Now it's going to automatically log me in since I was already logged into Google. You may have to log in. You can always change the email account you're using in the future and of course give access and remove access as well. So we'll go ahead and come to my company. Let's just go ahead and do Fresh Edge Companies as the account name. Go ahead and select your country. I tend to leave this unchecked. And then you're going to go ahead and add your URL. Now you're going to want to add your main domain name here. So even if you have subdomains or you're using another service for part of your web pages and you're using a different domain there, go ahead and have your main domain here. So I'm gonna jump over to our Tag Manager playbook to make this a little easier. You can grab a copy of this in the description or of course create your own documentation. And then of course it doesn't want all of that and we'll go ahead and select it is a website and we'll go ahead and click on create. It'll give us all of this stuff that we have to accept. Yes, we accept it. And then we will have our new account and container created. So this is the code that we're going to be putting on our WordPress site. If you're using any other page builders, you're going to want to put the code there as long as you're using the same domain. And so the first thing I recommend doing before you do anything else, just save this code. So you don't have to keep coming back to Tag Manager every time you need it. So I'll go ahead and click on copy here. I'll copy the head tag. We'll go through an example here of what happens when you can't actually add the second code. Tag Manager will actually still work. So I'll go ahead and click OK. So we're, I'm going to jump out here so you can see I have some other accounts set up, but we have Fresh Edge Company, so that's the account we just created for our company. And then we have our first domain here, aspireentrepreneur.com. And then we're in our workspace. So if you ever need the code again, just come up here and click and you can copy the header and the opening of the body tag. Don't worry about the placements. It tells you where it should be, but you can get away with a lot of finagling here and Tag Manager will still work. So that does it for setting up your account. Congratulations, you're set, you're all, you're all done. I'm, I'm just kidding, we, we need to actually put it on our websites now. So the first example we'll go through is of course the most common and that is let's get Tag Manager onto a WordPress site. So I'll jump over here to a new WordPress install and some themes allow you to take your Tag Manager code and put it directly into the theme and it makes it really nice, but not all plugins play nice. If you've ever played with WordPress, you know, plugins don't always talk to each other. Page builders just don't seem to work well with each other. So what we're going to do is come down to plugins and we're going to add a new plugin. So we'll go ahead and click on add new. This is a brand new site. There's pretty much nothing on it. And then we're going to go ahead and all you have to do is search Google. And Google has actually created a plugin for you to use called Google Site Kit or Site Kit by, site Kit by Google. All right, you, you can read, right? I'm just saying it wrong. So we'll go ahead and click on install here. And then of course we will activate it. And now that it's activated, we can go ahead and click on Start Setup. Now, this helps you get started with a lot of Google products like Search Console and some other things, but here we're just going to focus on Google Tag Manager. So you'll go ahead and click on Sign In with Google. And of course, we'll need to sign in to verify that we own the website. So we'll go ahead and sign in with Google. Use the same account that you did when setting up your Tag Manager. And so we'll go ahead and you do have to check all of these, made that mistake in the past. Go ahead and click on continue here. And then of course we need to verify the site ownership. So this is a little bit more of a process than using just putting Tag Manager inside of your theme or using a third party plugin, but it makes it a heck of a lot easier to manage in the future. And it makes sure that it's put in the correct place on your WordPress site. So we'll go ahead and click on proceed here and then we'll click on allow. And then they want you to add it to Search Console, even though that's not really part of our Tag Manager process. We'll just go ahead and add it to Search Console. Go ahead and now we should be all set. So we can go to our dashboard here. And just like that, SiteKit is installed on our site. And of course, 
we've verified it via Search Console very, very quickly. If you've ever had to do that in the past, it was, it, it was quite annoying. And so now what we want to do is use the plugin that we just set up, installed, and verified to put Tag Manager on our site. So, okay, we got it. And of course, there's a bunch of other information that you can go through later. So let's go ahead, jump over to our settings here, and we'll connect more services and select Set Up Tag Manager. Now, even though we copied all of that code, we'll go ahead and choose our account again. It wants to verify again, so we'll go and click on continue here. I know this is a lot of steps, but it's a lot faster than what we used to have to do. So now that we verified again, we can go ahead and click Fresh Edge Companies, which is the account that we just created. The container is aspireentrepreneur.com, and we'll go ahead and confirm and continue. And just like that, Google Tag Manager is now on our WordPress site. So we'll quickly go through an example of adding it to a different type of page builder. And then we'll go ahead and go through a very simple process to verify that the tag has actually been installed. So another example here, I'm going to jump into a funnel builder like Systemi.io. So this of course would be different depending upon whatever page builder you're using. But in this particular instance, you'd want to go to your account settings, and then you want to look for something uh, to the effect of links, tracking, you know, third-party analytics. In this particular instance, it's called sales funnel settings. And then you're going to want to paste in your tracking code. So if I come over to our Tag Manager playbook here, I'll go ahead and select all of that, and I'll paste it in. Now, with this particular service, you'll notice that there's not another place to insert code. This is telling us it's gonna put it in the header tag. And so if you don't have the option to put it in the body, this second code in your body tag, you only have a, he a header tag option, then that's okay. You can go ahead and just put it in the header tag and it will still work. So let's just jump back over to WordPress. This is our amazing WordPress site and we're going to use a free plugin called Google Tag Assistant Legacy now to get started. And so we'll go over to whatever search engine you want to use. We'll search for Google Tag Assistant Chrome extension. We'll come to the Chrome store. Of course, this will work in any, any Chromium based browser. And then we'll go ahead and click on add to Chrome and we'll add the extension. And then you'll come up to your extensions menu, which is cut off just because I'm using a MacBook and there's different dimensions here. So you'll click on that little icon and you need to enable all of these and click on done. And then once you do, it, it will be all set. So we'll come back over to our site. We will click on the icon again, and then we need to click enable. So every time you want to use this plugin, you need to go to the web page, click enable, and then refresh the page. So we'll go ahead and refresh. And then if we click again, we will see that Tag Manager is in fact on our site. So we can go ahead and click through and then we can see if any errors are popping up, there'll be error codes down here. But glue, blue, glue, <laughs> glue means go. <laughs> blue or green means you're good to go. You're all set. That's, that's all you need to do for setting up Tag Manager so it's on your site. Now I'm going to come over to a systemi.io landing page here to show you what it looks like when you are using something that isn't WordPress. So we'll come here and you'll see that uh, Tag Manager is also firing correctly. And so as long as Tag Assistant is showing your Tag Manager code on your website, Tag Manager is working correctly. It's good to go as long as it's blue or green. Yellow or red means there might be something you need to look into. And of course, you can always verify that it's the right code because underneath here, if we click, you'll see that it actually tells us the our GTM our code here or label. And so if we come back over to our tag manager, you'll see that it is the same. And so we're all set with tag manager. It's on our site. We're ready to add all of the other tracking codes, pixels, setup events that we need. So thank you so much for watching. Sincerely hope you got some value out of this video. Most importantly, Tag Manager is on your site. It's ready to go. So check out a link to the Google Tag Manager playbook in the description to help you stay organized as you install all of your tags and triggers. And of course, a link to a full-blown deep dive course to getting all of your other codes set up and working. So hit that like button, subscribe for more marketing guides just like this one. And until the next, keep building the business you love.